Well, this isn't where I thought I'd see us starting the episode, but uh, due to some technical stuff, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, welcome back to the third episode of the Pokemon White 2 Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, last time we were originally going to do battle against a, uh, some Team Plasma Grunts, but some technical issues really said that I, uh, well, I could not get the recording of it, I'm afraid. I will say this, we didn't really miss much. Like, one of them had like a level 15 Octillery, and I mean, that isn't really beating this. And the other Pokemon that the other front had was a, uh, also level 15. And, uh, you know, it really wouldn't, uh, help that much in the grand scheme. That being said, the only other change was a, uh, I gave the Quick Ball to Ghidorah instead of the Shed Shell, since, you know, if we do encounter a Wobbuffet, Ghidorah is probably the best one in the world. <laughs> that being said, uh, we are currently in this building here, because I was just trying to figure out some frame stuff, and I think I found something pretty decent to help with that. Hopefully within the settings for my 3DS, obviously, that's what we're doing. And I think, what better way to... wait, oh, wait. Me oh my, the badges you get in the Unova region, wanna hear about them? Uh, oh. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a fight, because of uh, the item. <laughs> Stone plate. Yeah, I got a couple items while a... Uh, I was like trying to figure out stuff, just trying to go around the city and figure out everything. But apparently, like all I really need to do was get one thing in my 3DS to change, and lo and behold, uh, it fixed. Its... It seemingly, at least, made it way better. Oh my gosh, it's so much better! And yeah, but I think for this episode, hopefully, we'll have much more minimal a uh, lag stuff going on, and I'm very happy to see that as I think. When it comes to technical stuff, like a, uh, obviously, like, you know, I'm still trying to figure out the best way to do stuff. If I want to do something like this in the future in terms of recording quality, like, uh, having a full screen, not with, like, my taskbar underneath it or whatever. But I think one thing that was kind of, like, a bit of a roadblock mentally was a, uh, like, oh, like, the frame rate. And I want to try to make recording stuff the best possible experience it can be in terms of quality that I can at least try to aim for. And a, uh, you know, that was like one thing I was super worried about, and, you know, me finding out how to change one thing made this a uh, fair bit better in my head. Anywho, with all that being said, we're gonna do this first, uh, before we go mess with the gym. Oh, okay, wait, this is a bike. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to this battle building. We got a bike as well, uh, in the time I was, a uh, doing stuff. Uh, that's a bit slower, but that's fine. Now, will the battle theme speed up? I mean... Hmm. I see. Just, uh, hmm. I think what I'm going to do is... Hey! It's working! Hopefully. There we go. <laughs> oh, we got Quick Balls. Alright. Nice. The 3DS is capable of many amazing things, and hopefully that should help us out a bit more as we go through this. I don't know if we have access to the gym leader just yet, or we'll do this first, since the... There's like this clown guy at front who uh, told me about this building, so I'm assuming we have to do this first. And even if not, that's just good EXP to help with the, you know, the gym leader anyway, then later. And thus far, a, uh, gotta say, fights have not really been that much of an issue. I mean, again, I am using a Latios at the start of the, uh... I was really worried about some enemy Pokemon, but uh, outside of... I guess there is one relevant thing, was that one of the trainers I had skipped originally back in episode 2 before we got to a uh, that one city I'm forgetting the name of Roxy in it. A, uh, they had like a Meloetta that I encountered like partway through, and it was only level 12, so nothing bad happened, but that was like the one third no worry thing, because, you know, a level 12 Meloetta is not being a 21, a... Uh, <laughs> Latios, that's for sure. Ooh, 17. Okay. I mean, I think the last guy's 18, but uh, whatever. Uh, well, this is probably Dragon Breath again, considering that is our highest stat. And full cox spikes. Did not know I could learn that move that early, but good move. Uh, I need to get a second Pokemon, I actually need to switch out. That'd be kind of spooky. But that is not the case. There we go. Alright, I think I'll. Wow, okay. This is going really well. I think I'll continue to use JJ up front until it hits level 23, and I'll maybe switch it out for Fuji. 
Because I want to try to... I like trying to keep the levels even amongst the party in the Red Light Pokemon games. Like, I'll have the starter maybe one level ahead, but for this right now, because I'm not trying to do like too much of grinding, grinding. Because again, I don't know if it's required or not, but I just want to do this anyway. Because obviously we're getting good stuff from the two, so... Dragon Breath? And, I mean, this should one-shot. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, Shogun. Keep your Pokemon to get. I have also no idea when our next actual encounter will be. I think it might be after the gym fight? Ooh, that could be scuff ones. I'm pretty sure that's uh, raises accuracy. Guy, I fought this guy, right? Pretty good. Let's head to the next floor then. And 55. Oh, okay, that's good. More items. Oh, and I guess as for items that I picked up while I was trying to mess around with the settings of my 3DS, a, uh, I found an Eviolite, which all of our Pokémon are fully evolved, so that won't be the biggest help as of right now, but I'm sure at some point a, uh, we will get something worthwhile that can make use of that really well. I mean, granted, I would like to have fully evolved Pokémon in a general sense more than you know, a uh, non-fully evolved one. But if we do get a non-fully evolved one, then I'm not gonna complain because I'm gonna just slap on the like this is legitimately one of the best items in the game. Like it obviously falls off not using something that's really evolved, but you know. Paralyzed. Man, I've been getting really lucky with that. <laughs> Smoke screen. We should be fine, I think. Just in case though, because I have no idea what your next Pokemon is, I'm gonna go to Fuji, granted Lake, considering this is a fire type. And granted, I have no idea to confirm whether or not they, uh, their next Pokemon will be fire or something that gets water, but you know. Just like to, yeah, Tink like fire stab. Well, go for tackle. Well, quick attack, okay. Real do anything, so that's fine. That is nice. And the barrel. Alright, that's fine then. Uh, let's go for Fury Cutter and we can start stacking up power on that. I see we have the same- oh, strategy. Uh, kinda worried a slight bit. I mean, Fuji's surely fine. Alright. <laughs> I I know how strong uh, Rollout can get. Luckily didn't defense curl before that, so... Okay, good. We win. I think you're gonna say- yep, Hunter's accuracy. Nice. We'll definitely have to go back to the Pokemon Center, but oh well. Take that school kid, Neil. <laughs> Did we get something for that, or...? What? Oh, wait. Nope, okay. Hold on. I always check the trash cans. I think I might have mentioned this already, but I always feel like there isn't too many things in the trash cans, like in a general sense. Which is a shame, because they're so plentiful, especially like in a uh, more modern... Well. The DS, the, th the DS slash 3DS era of games, specifically like XY, in terms of the amount of trash cans that are on the bout. But yeah, uh, oh well. Uh, let's just... I, I just feel like there should be more in there, is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, okay. I was confused. Wait. Uh, what if I just lie? <laughs> okay. Hoping that'd be like an item or something, but oh well. <laughs> Get that, because I'm pretty sure the third gym leader is in the city as well. Which, I think that's probably the goal for this episode? Is, just like last time, just, you know, find the gym leader, do all that. It's to, to, tis be simple. Uh, what is this? I don't think this is it, but... Oh, that's Game Freak Headquarters. Oh, there might be items, hold on. <laughs> that is the thing with big places like this. Maybe I should have, a uh, waited, just in case, a, uh, before recording. Just so not only I could like test it more maybe and find better uh, frame stuff with my, again, totally legit 3DS, but a, uh, also just for getting a bunch of items to save time. So I'm assuming that this place is a, uh, you know, has people holding items. Well, speaking actually, hold on, let me just be sure. How about you, fellow? Okay. What have we got here? Poison gem. Alright. Getting a lot of gems and plates. Alright. Uh... Wait, it's pretty useful in battle. Do you want battle? Oh! Wait, hold on. I'm Snorlax, and let's plan. Hold on. Uh, that's probably how we get leftovers. 
Well, we should be fine. The last guy was level 18, right? <laughs> Surely we'll be fine against uh, this fellow. He's one Pokemon. And it's Ninjask, so that's not the worst. Oh, 17, okay. I was so worried, because I'm pretty sure- it's my- I forget it's only black and white. Oh wait, this is a bad matchup, actually. Uh, we should be fine for one hit. Okay, good point. I was gonna try swapping Ghidorah, but then I was like, oh wait, it's Bug. I don't think Dragon resists Bug, so I don't think Ghidorah is neutral against that. There we go. <laughs> Pretty cool. Oh, that should get his leftovers. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, assuming he, he said it. Oh. Well, dang. Uh, tip for getting strong Pokemon battles. Having lots of battles. Uh... I mean, sh I'll put Fuji out front first, why not? One at, uh, I mean, he's JJ's level 23, so... I think Ghidorah is fine for right now. Probably use Ghidorah at the... But given the levels, I think we're probably fine. And who knows, maybe if we get all of them, we get an item. <laughs> it has been a minute since I played this, so I cannot say. Three, four, third twig. Alright. Fifteen. Ah, we should be fine. Yeah, like, it probably is a grass move, but the level difference plus this... Oh, plus we can get big power on Fury Cutter. So I think this is worthwhile staying in, even with the tight matchup not being great. The draw, defenses are risen. That's fine, because our power is just in turn. And you get the damage us, which is... Alright. Oh. Oh, Ornberry. With drawing again. <laughs> okay. Interesting choice, interesting choice. I mean, th that's fine. It just lets me get Fury Cutter even higher in power. What's next? Bulbasaur! Okay, I'm pretty sure that's neutral because you're part poison, but uh, that's fine. I forget how Fury Cutter's damage, like, a, uh, increases, if it's, like, rollout or not exactly, but just, like, the bug book one. I mean, in terms of use, it is, just given that it's a move that increases each power each time you use it like, in a row. But uh, I don't know if, like, if it's bigger or not, it's the same. Poison point. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I see. Alright. Take that, Morimoto. Did we get an item? No. Alright, hold on. Do we have- Oh, actually, we do have something for poison. I'm pretty sure, because while also testing stuff, one vouch, I got some Castelia cones. They, uh, they, they heal any status. They're pretty useful. I don't really think I have to say why something they can heal any status is pretty good. Uh, that's nothing. Nope. Anything the trash cans? But you, how about you, Zirid, sir? Uh, you? Dang, alright. Well, we at least got some EXP, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Again, in its own right. Just being stronger, natural, good defense against a, uh, you know, yeah. being able to paint. Yeah. Uh, there's also the alley that I remember. Because I don't think we can go to the sores yet. I think we're going to have to beat the gym or not. What's this? Hold on. What do we have here? Okay. TV. Okay. Uh, hmm. I have no clue how important this building is for either story progression or battling or items or whatever, but eh, it's probably a good idea just to check to be safe. Trash can. Oh, okay. Alright, that's pretty good. If we ever go to Jesto Berry, like, or some way to find those easily, you know, I could see use in that. Uh, Trushkin? Uh, how about you? Okay, nope. Alright. Is there anything in the corner? Okay, no. Alrighty then. That's so good. Always need to have a TM. Especially if, uh, Sleep Talk's a team or not, we can maybe have to do some strats with that, depending on the Pokemon we get. Since I would not be opposed to using more complex strategies in a thing like this specifically. <laughs> Though I would like to use such things that I, uh, you know, don't require too much brain power, in the sense that they're typically more reliable and just faster as well. I think, uh, yeah, this is the, that one building. Okay. A, uh, like, for example, if we get D Dance on a Dragon type Pokemon that's a physical attacker, <laughs> I really need to say why that's just the best strategy in all of Pokemon. And say, uh, if you find the best thing to set up on, uh, yeah, it, it's just, uh, 
kind of you can't beat it. Uh, how about you? Okay. Uh, you? Nope. Uh, how about the bartender? All right, that's good. That's a 300 HP heal. That could prove quite handy as well. Alrighty. That means there's only one more shoot for us to check then as well for stuff, and then we can, I guess, I'm assuming the gym meter is there, but I want to just check up here to see if we can go get a new Pokemon or not. Since having a fourth Pokemon, I think, could be, oh, sorry, sir, uh, could be pretty useful, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's find out, or if we're roadblocked or not. Oh, Bianca. Uh, Dowsing. Ooh! Hold on! That's really good! What we're going- Wait, hold, what else is this? Oh. Uh-huh. Alright. How do I activate that dowsing machine, though? On a, uh, item. There we go! I wonder if the items are randomized to the dowsing machine or not. Because, I think- No, I should probably go up to a get a Pokemon. I was originally going to go back now through the city, which is probably, I'm pretty sure that the gym room is down there, but I, uh, I think first, let's just get a Pokemon to be safe if possible. Uh, map 4. Alright. Uh, I can't go back there. What about you, sir? Oh, it's a trainer. What are the- oh, sh crap, what are the levels? Uh, this might have been a bad idea. Carnivine. What do I have in front? 17, okay. 17 to 22? I don't- I think- I think we'll find a Fury Cutter. We should be faster. Plus we get attack EVs, so I think that's pretty good. How much does that do? Not that much. Okay, I think we're safe even like it gets a critical hit, so we can continue to you for a bit. Sweet scent. That lowers the base of this, I'm pretty sure, but that doesn't really matter right now. Because I, I don't really think there's like a grass move that... Is there Power Whip? Surely it's gonna have an accuracy, but I can't really think... Not counting powders at all. I'm pretty sure the powder's like, not grass, is until... That's fine. Well, that's a water type, so if we're fine against the grass type, we can just probably a uh, Fury Cutter this guy too. Given the boost of power. There we go. And just edging the level up already. Okay. Crap. Well, I didn't mean to close that, so hold on. Let's firstly heal up Fuji. And I was hoping to maybe try to find the... Uh... Well, I guess also, I did some of the movies. <laughs> it's been like uh, two weeks since I last played the game. I did some of the movies and a, uh... You know, I got a couple lemonades. Oh, that's a... Uh... Alright. <sighs> this is fishing... Well, we don't have a fishing rod. Okay. Yep, let's just get an encounter. I was gonna, trying to see if there's like double grass or something, but we should be fine just trying to get an encounter. Alright, let's see what our encounter for this area is. Pikachu! Oh, okay. Alright. That's, uh... I mean, Light Ball, I, I'm pretty sure, does... Oh crap, uh, hold on, let me swap out Fuji. But, uh, Light Ball, I am... Well, I'll send out JJ just in case. This Pikachu having something to say. But, you know, as I've said twice, just getting losing my train of thought, Light Ball is technically something we could get, and we can Eviolite it. So that, too. <laughs> Eviolite Pikachu? Why not? Uh. I mean, I prefer to not use a. No, it got chipped in. Plus, it's Pikachu. Surely not that hard to catch. One. Okay. Well, I mean, it's gonna take more damage over time. They, uh the sandstorm, so... I guess let's try... I'm, I mean, I have Tempting, I'll just try Grid Ball. I don't think I can hit it, just given that it's, uh, level 16. Oh my, alright. The Pokeball seemed to be more effective, so... Might as well just try that again. Would not hurt. Third time's charm, as they say. Times like this, I miss Toad and his ability to status different uh, opposing Pokemon. Here, this time we're just gonna use a super potion, I guess. 
you know, get on that sandstorm damage. Might as well. <laughs> this is like Zubat all over again. Of course I have- my luck is like, oh, I can catch a Wadio, so basically no issue. But when it comes to the likes of Pikachu and Zubat, that's a, uh, that's where things become a bit trickier. Alright, surely this time. One, two, three! Oh my, okay. You almost had it indeed. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Pikachu also not having, like, a high catch rate in the sense that it's like the mascot. So, I, I, I could see that realistically, I guess. However, like, I'd be lying. <sighs> Why would I get in the ball? I cannot have three, just three Pokemon forever, alright? Alright, you maybe want the Pokeball. It's the classic that you've come to know and love. Alright. One, two, three. Gotcha! There we go! That took too long. Uh, what the hell do I name you? Is now my question. Pikachu, Pikachu, uh. What do I, what do I even name Pikachu? I don't really think. That was... Alright, electric. This is pretty tricky. Um, hmm. uh, what's... What's his name? Well, I was thinking of that one guy... I was just watching Demon Slayer before recording. And there's like that one electric guy from that who... His name I am blanking on. And I think... I was also originally thinking, as soon as I saw this thing, of a... Uh, the, like, you know, that it was a Pikachu, name it Mickey, because haha, -ha, like, mascot, and it's the, you know, a lot of money. But hey, uh, hold on. Who was the guy from Demon Slayer? Who, who was that one guy from Demon Slayer? It's pretty funny. Uh... I... I why can I not think of his name? Why? <laughs> Uh, honestly, I think for time I just might name him Mickey for the sake of not wasting too much time at this point. Because I legit cannot remember for the life of me at the moment. Uh... Do I just give it a Google? Oh no, it was Zanetsu! It was Zanetsu. Alright, there we go. That took way too long. You know what? That was the hardest part. Catching this Pikachu and a, uh... Also trying to figure out a nickname for it. Well, what was it? Well, how do you say Zen? Oh, Itsu. That's why was that? All right. This S and then perfect. Welcome to the team, little buddy. Uh, I guess first yeah, let's give it the EVA light right now that I picked up earlier. Since uh, it's going to need it as a Pikachu. <laughs> That's for sure, and I guess we can't really continue the route just yet, so out of curiosity, what else could we have gotten? That answer is... Alright, I don't really feel that bad anymore. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think it's time we head back to the gym leader then, at this point, because I know about the roadblock, and I forget to get the fight a certain boss trainer to activate that I remember first. I mean, obviously there's a gym leader, but a, uh... Like, there is one other thing that... Uh, I might as well just get... Well, let's just get Fuji's level 23. Which should be pretty easy, considering that a, uh, it's right there, and there's a company right in front of us. And then I'll put the door in front, and then we can go to the third gym. This might be a shorter one, too! Okay. Because I don't really, uh, for these, like... I like the idea of having longer videos, in a general sense, as well. However, I think part of that... Oh, I just need to turn on the Dazzle Mission. So, uh, hold on again. Uh, where is it? Uh, key items. Uh, I guess register. And I want to use it. I forget which button on my DS registers it, but whatever. <laughs> Should be fine. Alright, now let's go back to the Pokemon Center. We shall heal on up and we'll go tackle the third gym. I mean, I guess part of the short... I mean, again, I have no idea, depending on what the gym leader will use or not. However, in terms of length at the moment in time, a, uh, 
Hopefully this doesn't have anything to do before the third gym leader, because, again, it's been a minute since I played the game. A, uh, was... Well, no, even if the plasma stuff that I had to... Like, because the technical stuff that I had to, like, not show, like, that was only, like, five minutes, like, tops. <laughs> Again, the fights for the two Team Plasma Grunts that I had to fight. One was a level 15 Octillery, and I literally can't remember the other one. The second was also level 15. So, I, I, I think it's I think it's fine, genuinely. Right, but I guess before we... Gosh dang it. Well, well, let's figure out the button, then, I suppose. Ignore that. <laughs> Again, the DS is capable of many things. Alright, it's a... Uh... Alright, and I... Oh, so if I just open the menu, then it goes away. That's good to know. I'll have to figure out the downsing button on my own time, then. Anyway. Minus defense plus special attack. If we got the light bulb, or, like, that would be... Alright, okay. I like the jib of this Pikachu. Alright. Good good job, Sidentsu. And I now... Well, I doubt there's any... Just in case. Can ever be... I'll figure out whatever the button is to actually, you know, find rare stuff with it at some point in time. Alright, down the alley. I think it's the furthest left then. What's this? I just find okay, I don't think that matters. Alright. For our purposes, that does not matter. <laughs> what does is the gym though. So uh can we enter it or is there something else we have to do first? We're looking for the gym leader, but he said he won't be in trouble. Then he's off and goes. Ah, so now, or right, never mind. This won't be a short episode. <laughs> I could have sworn we went to the sores in this game, which, hey, that's another encounter though. So uh, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I think we're fine on pokeballs, but a uh, you know, eh, like a uh, plus. I think uh, a Pikachu's a fun encounter is in it too. Just in the, it's not this one, is it? I think it's to the far, yeah, it's to the far right. Okay. Like a, uh, just in case, I'll also check out Liberty Island, or whatever it's called, the teeny. I don't have the, oh, it's black and white too, so you don't think you can catch one there. But a, uh, there might be hidden items and whatnot, so, you know, that in its own right is just worthwhile to check. But first and foremost, uh, we gotta go to the swords. We gotta fight some Coopers. <laughs> My Cooper is the uh, Team Plasma Grunts. Pretty sure they have an airship though, so, you know, I wouldn't put it past them. Like a, uh, well, it was actually one time, very, uh, yeah, we found them, pretty much. Did a, uh, like, watching the Mario movie, and it was, like, in between, like, a, it was, like, right after another rewatch of that. It's, like, my 22nd time or something like that. And during that, a, uh, uh, yeah, we're ready. Oh, that's right, we do doubles here. God damn it. <laughs> I'll figure it out at some point, but a, uh... Okay. Anyway, I think what I was trying to say was that I thought it was, like, Team Plasma in this game was, like, for stuff later on, but I guess I won't spoil, despite the age of the game. Oh, Shep, or, that's right, we have to get our encounter. <laughs> Crowd on! Let's go! Holy shit! I sort of... Fucking god, if you kill that Groudon, I'm gonna murder your I'm murdering the Katini. Oh, it's my second favorite Pokemon! Okay, alright. What do I- alright. Victini does not one-shot the Groudon. I can safely get rid of Zubat. Alright, quick. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. Nice. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now, it should be fine for one attack against Victini, but that does mean I get to throw balls at it for free. Okay, come on. Come on. Stay in the ball! Stay in the ball! No! Okay. Headbutt. How much does that do? It, it does have base. Oh, you know what? A uh, Groudon will take down Victini for me. <laughs> perfect, 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 perfect. Oh, okay. We have the timer balls in the back as well. Oh, I should have bought more Pokeballs. I should have bought more Pokeballs. If I knew, if I knew it was Groudon, I would have bought more Pokeballs, dude. One, two, three! 
Yeah! Let's go! Whoa, we're making the dream team! Oh, yes! Oh, I have no idea what to name you, but oh. Oh, man. All right. Okay. Oh, I hope you have a good nature. Uh, what, what do I name you? Oh. You're a big old, uh... I mean, you're also... I mean, you're not Godzilla, because that's Tyranitar. Well, that's Vax Caliber in Gen 9. The plus is in this era game is uh, Tyranitar. Um... Who was the... Who's the guy? Hmm. Let me, let me think here. What's a good name for this fellow? Well, how about... Uh, no, because I think it's more... Than, uh, how about... I don't want to do something that's, like, hyper edgy, is I think the other thing as well. So, a, uh, like, you know, I don't want to do, like, and also, like, some names that, like, be, like, a, you know, a bit, uh... Magma? I mean, Magma might be good. Oh! Um... Yeah, why not? Let's go with Magma, I suppose. Emblematic of, you know, Team Magma. Oh, this is the best encounter. I don't care that I hit C. Oh, show me my baby! Show me the baby boy! Oh, thank god his offense isn't affected, I think. I think his minus special defense, minus speed. Lava pole, my. Alright, let's get an item on Magma real quickly. Uh... Honestly, I think what I'll do, we also have an open slot, so I think what I'll first do is... I could give him the EXP share, but I'm pretty sure all his moves are so I think what I'll do is I'll give... Whoa, 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 okay, okay hold on. Let me, let me pay more attention, it's not the mouse, sorry. I think another thing I might want to do is the scope lens, but for right now, I just want to level up Groudon, so... Where the hell did I put it? Give this to Magma. We will level up Zenitsu, or I will, I guess. So I think for right now, I'm going to do a magical little thing. I ignore that as well. I'm going to do this awesome thing, and w when we come back, a, uh, I'll have them all level up. So, And welcome back. A, uh, the grinding has uh, been complete. This is not a trainer battle. I only did one by accident, even though I'm going for more best of so it's not going to be anything that. It's too important. But a, uh, you know, I did the grinding, which was required of me at that point. It wasn't that bad, except for Zenitsu, who I also decided to grind, so I didn't want him to just be, uh, water, essentially. So, I wanted to be perfectly safe for that, because a, a Raichu could be good. I hope we get lucky with the electric ball, or, like, light ball, I'm pretty sure it's called. That would also mean that Zenitsu could be pretty good. However, I think we're going to be sticking with Magma here for the most part as we go deeper in here. And I forgot the one thing I wanted to do was to turn on a Repel, because we really have no need for one homie counters at this point. <laughs> like, if we, if we want XP, XP, which I do, we, we just need a, uh, no, the trainers, which I skipped one by accident, so we're going to go. I mean, I guess I'll mention this, I wasn't really planning on fighting every trainer in the area, however, considering it's very much, I want to have some fun with it. It's not like a hard, fast rule, because it's like, there will be times where I'll probably want to skip a trainer, however, I only have a hundred money. Yikes. Uh, oh crap, now I gotta turn back. I gotta buy those. There's more of those then. Right. There we go. And yeah, I guess for what I was doing earlier, I was just watching YouTube, as one does. And a, uh, specifically, I was watching some monster awesome stuff by a YouTuber called uh, Spooky Zeno. Or maybe it's Zino? I'm just gonna assume it's Zino. It's Z I N O, so go how you want. It's, uh, say how you will. Uh, essentially, they were doing like a thing on a, uh, was it a Charge Blade playthrough of Monster Rise? And, uh, it was pretty cool! Like, uh, 
not, not gonna lie. Like, I've been watching for a bit, but as of recording, they're just on episode two. And I'd say if you're, like, a fan of Monster Hunter or, like, other, you know, more anime stuff in general, since I know, like, they did some stuff on Honkai Star Rail, I think it's called? So if you're a fan of that kind of content, I highly recommend checking out. Oh, well, even, like, a, uh, put, like, an end card or... I think you can do that with a channel. It's like put in cards at the end of the videos, but for channel stuff that's not from Rome. But I'll do that too, but I highly recommend you check out the stuff because it's pretty cool in general too. Anywho, uh, that was pretty easy. We we do have Crowd on, so uh, with Magma here. So yeah, we're gonna clean house. I got everybody level 23, except for, uh, you know, specifically Zenitsu, who is uh, level 24 because. I think if someone needs it, it's, uh, it's Zenitsu, that's for sure. Because he, he's not the strongest Pokemon in the world, even with the Eevee Alight, to help bolster his defense is a fair bit. A, uh, a bucket is unironically really good. Again, I do think it's one of the best items in the game. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't want to have Zenitsu be fodder, so I put him just a bit extra. I would have done more, but uh, this place was not the most efficient for a Pikachu. Especially because most of the- oh, I meant to do Mud Bomb or Mud Shot or whatever, whatever. It's fine, it's a pot here. But a, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a little more cap. And we get to- oh, we miss. Well, dang. <laughs> First time we missed Mud Shot. Not the worst, but a, uh, some of the scope ones- I mean, the scope ones has been- Wow, you're really gonna just drag this out, huh? The scope lens I gave it has been uh, useful since this, that was the first time while grinding for it that I, uh, you know, that it missed. So I'll just make sure to drop hammer arm. And also, yeah, we got hammer arm at level 20, so we actually have a move to use our ludicrous physical attack now. So that's pretty good. What's even better, however, oh, hold on. Uh, why not? Oh, that's a ledge. Is there anything over here? Hey, Prism Scale! I forget what that does, but I don't think it's... Uh, yes, I should have bought more. <laughs> I'll be sure to do that after we leave this area, because we only have three, and I don't think we have a Super Repel, either. I think most of this area is blocked off, though, because of the weather mechanic. But, like, I forget what season it is, however... Like, sometimes in the game... Well, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Literally just... whatever. <laughs> Because sometimes in the game, a, uh, the weather- wait, I could have sworn there was more I could have done. Hold on, what's over here again? Oh, yeah, okay, I, had, I did have to go down that way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess the only other noteworthy encounter that we could was Aerodactyl. Which, that would have been cool, but, you know, the Groudon is just a little better. We won't really bother with uh, fighting them. However, I guess I mentioned the reason I have Magma up on second it is my second favorite Pokemon. And it is now a hundred percent the strongest thing we have on the team. Would be because of the funny little fact that a uh Well, it's the strongest thing we have on the team. As well as it's pretty decent against Polkia and all grinding, there was a <laughs> A double battle against Pokia? And like, yeah, it was like lower level, but still fighting, you know, two Pokias. Just. Uh, just. I'll, I'll love the thing or whatever. Just a, a little spooky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so, and despite being the Water Pulse, obviously Drought, we can water moves by a fair bit, so Magma's, unironically, I think the one who is the best against the Pokias, so I shall not complain. What I am going to complain about is how I forgot to go down that pathway to go get to the other trainers that are down there. Since, y yeah, I, I do kind of want to fight them. Or, I guess more specifically, I know that Team Plasma, by the way, I'm not blind, but I did see that they were like in the top left area, right back where we were. However, I do want to be sure I get everything, since the uh, field items are randomized, so... And we got some, I think we got pretty lucky with some of the stuff we got. So, you know, just the more items, the merrier, I'd, I'd honestly say. I just think the one annoying part is that I, of course, forgot, or I got that number there. Uh, you know, <laughs> buy more repels! I mean, granted, I didn't have as much money back then. I had to save on cash, but... Oh, yeah. What can I do? Yeah, I guess everything else that was kind of... Like, we have Zubat back again, Charon is... 
Well, Charm. I don't know what- I'm pretty sure it's stat change, but the inactivate ability that becomes more speedy in the cost of defense. So, like, that's an interesting ability. Not a strong Pokemon, but, like, you know, still a neat ability. Oh, okay, no water, so we can't go that way. Uh, there's one trainer here, and there's an item to the right of her. So, after this battle, I'm just gonna run from for time's sake. Okay, uh, we're gonna go do some battle, and also check what's in that as well. After that, uh, probably just gonna tackle the gym as well. Yeah, probably. I mean, why not? Probably make a good thumbnail for we route on. Oh, are you not a battle? Oh, it is a battle, okay. That is also a weird thing to me. Like, sometimes, like, they just don't... Oh, that's a lot of time. <laughs> they, uh, they just don't battle you sometimes when you come walk by them. I think it's nice, but, but, you know, at the same time, like, this one's right in front of an item. <laughs> so, you would think that a, uh, their top priority would be the fight you or something. You know, game, gameplay-wise. Like, I don't know if they have... It's not like they're the fossil guy from Red and Blue, who were like, Oh, we found the, I found this fossil group. Never mind, that makes sense then. We don't really need that, considering, well, you get fully healed by you. Woo! Blue Shard! Alright, that's good. The more of those you can get, the better. <laughs> uh, what's your deal, miss? It's a time to spin the sources so I can use them to make medicine, so I'm running experiment. If this works, I might be able to use the Venom Poison type of bomb to make different medicines. How exciting! Oh well, there's a space here. It was? Could've even gone better. Alright, free potion! Cannot complain. Or is this like a daily thing then? Is there... I don't... Alright, both the dowsing machine and the... I don't see anything in here. I also don't think this counts as... Oh, they're different Pokemon. So this place has different encounters, but we do not see a new name thing pop up, so we are not getting a Mawile. Though, I'm not really... Though, truthfully, I'm indifferent to Mawile as a Pokemon. <laughs> so... Oh, the Dumb Intimidate. Okay. But, I mean, that only affects Magma, but still. Just kind of eating time. However, uh, you know, that's fine. Mawile, I'm pretty sure it was only good like Gen six, seven onward. Whenever, I'm pretty sure Gen seven specific, specifically. No, I think with Gen six because of Mega Ruby Sapphire. I forgot. I think I'm sure Mega Ruby Sapphire. Alpha Sapphire came out before Sun and Moon. So with that, I would then say Gen six. But you know, what can we do? Right, now let's uh, get the heck out of here and go actually fight Team Plasma. Uh, I'll probably eh, eh, screw it up. Leave uh, Magma out in front. Why not? Might as well. He could truthfully use the EXP. He's so low. He's just so weak. You know, compared to everything else on the team. <laughs> uh, all right, let's let's get this over there. I mean, heck, another level on it could be good, because I'm pretty sure, like, uh, the gym leader should be in, like, the 20, like, mid-20s range for levels, so that could be useful as well. Just having, well, a, a Groudon <laughs> in high level. And boy, really wishing I got the repels as well. I mean, I'll be sure to do that before it, like, uh, I start the next episode. I mean, I'm not going to record as of the time of recording to, like, uh, continue that uh, right now. Oh, so there's another trainer. Oh, and there's also an item as well, so I was not paying attention to that, but okay. Is it a double battle? No, single. Grandpa. That's not bad. In fact, that's really good, because we can guarantee you one shot it, because uh, we have Hammer Arm, and this is before you became a fairy type, so... I hate to say it, buddy, but you're uh, about to go down. <laughs> Next special. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Probably should use like an ex-defense or anything, but special Granbull. Well, I shouldn't really say too much bad about the special Granbull. I don't really know its base stats, however, at least in a uh, generation two, I uh... okay, it's over there. I can't get it. Gosh dang it. <laughs> In Gen 2, or specifically Pokemon Crystal, uh, I taught mine Shadow Ball because of the how types worked. Since they, uh, they were, since before Generation 4, the damage that a Pokemon's move would do was based off the type. So, like for example, every Fire type move was special 
Like, even something like Fire Punch that was still special. And for some weird reason, Ghost Titan was for physical? Hold on, trash can? Alright, well. <laughs> okay, that. Don't get my hopes up. Or whatever, just an Earth Ring. Who cares? <laughs> with the with the with the silk But yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know why like the ghost type was a physical type. Since I mean that's a lot of things people talk about all the time, right? Why was the dark type a special type? In spite of the fact that pretty much every dark type Pokemon in the first two, like, especially in Gen 2. I mean, heck, this also applies to Gen 3, but at least going on in the case of Crystal, like, with the exception of, like, the Houndoom line, they were all physical attackers. And yet, you know, they couldn't make use of their Dark Stab. Like, a lot of weird stuff like that just kind of permeates, uh, well, pretty much all of Gen 2 and Gen 3. It doesn't really go off either, sorry, but still. Weird thing, but yeah, I did use Randall Shadow Ball. I think it's pretty neat. Like, uh, to be able to do stuff like that. Really nice. I'm incredibly glad that they changed it, though, considering how many Pokemon, well, benefited, or at least had the potential to benefit if their moon pulls are updated. But, like, you know, what can I say? Aside from, we are really just getting all the plates right now. I mean, okay. <laughs> really just, alright, alright. Just. Maybe I do put something out instead of a uh, magma. How close is magma level 25 again? Not that. I mean, they're trainer Pokemon, so they should be higher level. And having magma as the new backbone of our team would be, uh, well, objectively handy. Just, I mean, come on now, but like, we should be. So I think I'll just do that. Alright, let's see. Last time, last two grants I had, but we'll do 15 things, and I can't even remember what one of them was, except for the auxiliary. So, what do you both have? Team Plasma Grunt and Team Plasma Grunt. Metatite and Sudowoodo. This is not threatening at all. <laughs> okay. I was kind of expecting more. I'm not gonna lie. Well, well. Uh, I guess goodbye, Sudo Wudo. Alright, has 30. That's fine. If you can use Incinerate, uh, Victini, that would be great. Thank you. That hits both targets on the side of the field. I'm assuming it's the same thing for triple battles, at least if it's, like, in the middle. Since sometimes, uh, since moves can't always hit the Pokemon on the side of the field, depending on where their placement is left or right. So, you know, that was pretty good there. Nice. Also, let's hit the left of us as well, and force the wonder. Especially considering that the gym leader came from that land we're gonna fight in like 10 or so minutes. That's important. Uh, we're gonna go teach that to somebody. Probably Fuji. Definitely. Oh, Fuji and. Oh, oh, the rest. We're gonna go teach that to Fuji as well as Magma. Why? Because, you know, tackle is worse than strength, and I could care less about scary face on the Groudon. <laughs> and by that I mean, even more so, it, it's just not good. I mean, it could be decent, I mean, a double battle, I guess, but why would I not want the thing with base 140? No, base, I think, 150 attack to not be able to uh, use strength. First, let us get Fuji. Get rid of Tackle, because that's literally a direct upgrade. We lost nothing in that trade. And then for Magma, we'll do the same thing, but with the uh, Scary Face this time. Which also gives us a physical move we can use as well, so we can use our physical attack more. Uh, I guess first, can we go in here? Do we get another encounter? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, before we... Because there's another encounter we can get here as well. We can get two more encounters. Hold on. Let me just put Fuji out in front. No, actually Zenitsu out in front because he's Thunder Wave. So we can actually status things now. So right, let's get our Relic Passage encounter, I suppose. I guess I'll also mention... Uh, there is another thing in here that I'm pretty sure it's static, and I will mention again that a, uh... Okay. Vanellish, that's not bad. 
That, yeah, alright. Big special attacker. Ice type. Ice is great offensive type. I cannot complain. Uh, we need quick attack at once, I think. It should be fine. Is it... Grant, I mean, we did have a lot of physical attack speed, however... I don't think, yeah, Zenetsu will still not, despite the amount of, again, attack EVs, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a pretty good counter. I don't know when it evolves, so I can't say anything about that. However, like, I'm pretty, like, as stats-wise, I think it's a pretty good special attack here, so... And especially when it's fully evolved, like, I used one, or, like, was in the midst of using one in a Sword Shield Nuzlocke that would be on my own time, like, off and off for a fair bit now. So, like, with that, like, I'd say it's pretty good. Like, it's been, like, very handy. Like, it's a fun Pokemon to use as well, and I think, uh, yeah. I'll say, it, like, it's obvious, this isn't its first form, obviously, however, a, uh, <laughs> I think that Vanillix is cute. That being said, though, uh, I have the perfect name for you, assuming we have enough characters for it. Let's see. I swear if it dies before it uh, evolves, that'll be the saddest thing in the world. Now, we sadly don't have enough characters for the whole thing, however, for any Dragon Ball fans out there, you might recognize what this is referencing to. A good old double sunday. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks more relic past it. No. Yeah, not yet. I think, for one, we still need strength as well, which we get from beating the stream leader. I mean, we got the THM for strength, however, to actually... We should also check out the escape rope. That'll save us time as well. However, to actually make use of strength, Hey, I think we have to beat the gym leader anyway, and, like, the one place I want to go in Relic Passage is blocked off by strength. So, you know, with that being said, let's first put... Actually, you know what? No, we can't leave just yet. Uh, there is a place we actually have to go. Because, uh, funnily enough, we don't just have that one in here. Assuming I'm not wrong. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Muzzleaf now is not the time. I also need to put Zenetsu back in front of that, so, you know, gr great timing for me to forget about this, but I'm pretty sure that this counts as a separate thing. Well, let me just put Zenetsu and... Oh, sorry. Fuji. Oh, I guess I do have strength, but regardless, I want to wait just because I'm pretty sure we can only do that on the later half, and I don't think Yon's going to slow with it right now. Or... I think what I will do is, after this episode, I will go into Relic Passage and just scope it out. I'll try not to fight- I won't try not to fight any of the trains and stuff in there, as I like to do most of those on stream whenever possible. However, I just want to see if one place is accessible or not at this point, and if that place is or isn't, then we can do that. <gasps> Castile- It is a new place! Oh, hold on. Hold on. Sunstone. Alright, this is technically a new area for an encounter! Uh, I wanna wait for... We're gonna do it here, because there's a chance that we get two Pokémon uh, available. So, let's, uh... Actually, I guess in that regard, it would be best to bring out Magma... At... Well, not Strength. As Magma could take down whatever the second thing is, because, you know... This counts as a different area. Didn't catch anything in Silly City. Uh... If the game will let me... Hold on. I swear. What's going on? There we go. <laughs> Celebi! Holy alright, baby! <laughs> Woo! The team's getting stronger! Oh, we got our own mythical. Alright, that's cool. I'll also Voltorb's here, so uh Thunderwave Celebi. And Mugshot Voltorb. Get the hell out of here, buddy. Wait, did Thunder Wave not work? Oh, never mind. Okay. I thought. I guess the Magma's faster. Okay. Which, I guess, fair. Magma did fight a lot of things. Oh, it did Barry. Magma did have a lot of things. Oh, it did really just do that. Okay. 
Well, I guess for Magma, we're just gonna swap him around every turn now until Safeguard goes away. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. And we'll just use uh, Zenetsu with the chip. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Uh, Thunder Shock down, and um, I guess on well, this turn we can safeguard, I suppose. Just in case there's like a move, like a Toxic or something. Alright, I forget. What the hell? Okay. Thunder Shock again. Safeguard again. Just gotta wait for the one for that for safeguard to wear off on Celebi's side, and then we can paralyze it. I think it's five turns, so we're getting close. Confusion. Oh, they did a fair bit. Oh, I think. All right, hold on. Thunderwave. Safeguard. That's good. It's paralyzed, and this time it's gonna have a berry to cover itself with it. I swear to use heal bell, because I'm pretty sure that new statuses yeah, we're fine. Now we can go for the, the Great Ball. We did also, I found an Ultra Ball, I guess. <laughs> One of the things I found with the Dazzle Machine. One, two, three! Ah, oh, okay. Okay, let's try again. I want to save, I mean, this is a fair thing to use the Ultra Ball, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> But, uh, let's see, one... Dang. Alright. Okay, let's... Alright, uh, Zenith has got to swap out now. Uh... Ghidorah. And... Psywave is a bad move. I don't think it's a kill. Plus, Selby Psychic. So, like... You know, we're fine, I think. Let's see. I swear, it does actually kill something. I'll be pissed. Good. Alright, and now we just wall it completely for the most part. I was not counting the turns, but we can try a timer ball. Which would be fitting considering that this whole deal some of these whole deals had time travels. So, you know. One, two, a three! Gotcha! There we go. Now this <laughs> This is a good Pokemon too. Woo, baby! Alright, time travel Pokemon. Uh... Hmm, a time traveler, you say, huh? There is a, a lot of things you could say with that, but, uh... Hmm... Well, considering it's a time traveler and it's a plant, well, there is a... Well, obviously this is most definitely not a flower. I will at least then do the reference in the sun. And it's also not connivingly evil. Well, for the most part, until the end of the game. However, you know, time traveling plant, I think that this is a fair nickname then for it to have. I will say though, if we ever do catch some flora, that will be hilarious. Because then I have, a, I have a name for that then too. <laughs> most likely. I'll try to see if I get it. For now, welcome to the team, Flowey. Or, I guess, the PC box. Uh, hold on. I guess before we, uh, head on out of here, let me put something more fighting ready in front. And, let's see. Okay. Just wanted to see if that was an item or not. While well, we're at it. Oh, you know what? I guess, you know, if I'm already using the power of funny editing magic, uh... I guess I'll see you guys outside of the gym here, hall place, the gym area, whatever. And we're back. For me, it's been like a uh, four something days at this point in between, uh, <laughs> well, that last initial part of, for the cutaway. Anyway, we're in the gym and, uh, you know, I've chosen the team. We, uh, sadly, I feel Zenetsu has to be left behind as, uh, I think he's best at catching Pokemon at the moment. Maybe get a Thunderstone or a Light Ball, but a, uh, that's, a, a bit of a ways away if we get lucky. Anyway, that's, I guess, also refresh myself after grinding. Uh, we have Flowey here, Naughty by Nature. Not the best nature for a Selby, but pretty fitting, you know, for Flowey the Flower. If you have played Undertale, in which, you know, if you haven't, you should. 
But, you know, Cybernet Flowey's pretty all well-rounded. Got Recover to heal himself. A, uh, his Magical Leaf never missed with the Metal Plate boosting that. Pretty good. We got JG the Jet Plane, uh, pretty fast. Like a, uh, second fastest party member. <laughs> it's funny because it's a Jet Plane, it's not the fastest, but all well, what can do? A, uh, as well as that very good special attack, uh, Dragon Breath Return, Safeguard, Side Wave. Side Wave is useless, but whatever. Double Sunday, the tank of the party, and that's not entirely a joke. With the UV Light boosting its defense by 50%, not only do we have the second highest physical defense on the team, but we actually have the highest special defense. And after doing some math, it's actually like 68 or 67, 69. I forgot off the top of my head what the calculation was, but I remember there was a point, so 68 point something, and I don't know if this game rounds up rounds out, so who knows. Anyway, I guess I got that out of the way. Then we have Fuji, a good at pretty much a lot of stuff, uh, yeah, good physical attacker, and yeah, just really old, the old reliable essentially, along with Ghidorah, who's also just good at everything, and you know, obviously the high special attack, and she's just good at everything. And then there's Magma. Uh, the physical end of the spectrum, they're excellent, the special end of the spectrum, their special, their special moves, they're also eat half bad. <laughs> Really, this Pokemon is their new ways, which is why it's one level of everything else as a bit of an extra just leverage, if you will, if something goes awry. Uh, with that being said, uh, let's, uh, let's go take this pathway. I feel like this is the pathway that most won't take the first time through. Alright, well, this might take us a bit longer. I have not fought anybody here yet, naturally. Okay, so that wouldn't just be interesting. <laughs> but, as you can well see from this, but a, uh, yeah, it, it's really, it's been a minute. Hopefully things will go pretty well, uh, you know, I mean, we do have a pretty strong selection of Pokemon, so if we spread something that could go wrong, uh, okay, great start, great start, so, now, the thing with Kabalian <laughs> is, I know it's part fighting, but I, it's, it's at least, this should be, this be neutral, this will be, this is at least neutral, but I Okay, I'll just take down Dew. Not much, and it got recoil, okay. So the thing what I, I think it's fighting Steel, and then Trakion's fighting Rock, and then I think, and then I forget Verzeon, or Verizon, as I just like to call it. But okay, that was not that bad. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay. Good job, Flowey, good job. I guess I'm mostly just grinding in the swords as well, for more got Ooh, this big clang. Alright, this we should probably switch out for, because, well, our both well, none of our moves are very effective against it. Uh, I would like to take Magnum out for a spin again, but I think we're kind of fine there. Well, now I'm looking at this, uh, everything's new, and it could have an electric move. Yeah, I, I think I gotta send out Magma for this. <laughs> Just to be safe, because, you know, I mean, did the work of awesome and fine. Like, truthfully. However, at the same time, I do want to use the funny Groudon <laughs> that we're able to get back in the source. Fair enough reason. Charge, that's fine. With the scope lens, or. Well, actually, heck, we have the sun up, so let's just lob the boom. Don't even worry about that. This should kill, or at least get close. Okay, yep. Critical hit. <laughs> Dang, man was, man was a pretty good Pokemon, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, how much Flowey's... Or, I mean, I guess Flowey's level 24, so I guess I'll throw someone else. We'll give, we'll give Double Sunday a shot. Or I guess a Double Sunday to be, whenever they uh, evolve. <laughs> Alright, let's say that's the next floor. I'm pretty sure we're going to be jumped in half a second, remember how this works. Yep. Okay, alright. First battle went pretty well. I, should, I probably should feel to be safe with potions or whatever, but oh well. Cradilly. That's... fine. Yeah, I think it's Grass Rock, so this is actually pretty good for this matchup particularly. Let's open with the Icy Wind. Alright, good it hits. This is not a perfect accuracy. I guess as for things as well in the meanwhile, <laughs> we'll talk about as well as we try to get our way to Berg. A, uh... I guess one thing as well that's been going on as well is something I've, I think I have to, eh, there's no reason to rant about it, I guess. That'd be a pretty random thing. But I gotta say, not a, not a fan of how copyright stuff works on YouTube. You know what? Screw it. I might as well, and I've got to switch out. Since they, uh, recently, for me, I should say, uh, it's still ground. I'll just send it to Fuji. I think it's still super effective. 
Like, I'm curious as to why. Like, as someone who has dealt with the material collected before, pretty fun. Ooh, self rock. Maybe you should have been bleed Pokemon, buddy. <laughs> it might have gone better for you. But uh, it feels like recently they've been taking longer to respond to stuff as a. Uh, my video for the Retro Jevil fight no hit got a uh, good old copyrighted. <laughs> Because of course it did, because uh, for the world of all things. But the thing is, it's like they, uh, it wasn't even had the thing they were copying for, it was like an orchestral remix, which wasn't present in the thing. Which to me, I thought that was pretty odd, and you know, it's been like a week or something like that, and I'm still waiting back on that. Which is kind of annoying, as I think it also kneecapped it in views as well. Like, I was looking at that as well, to see if that was a thing that happened or not. Uh, should I... But it feels like, relative to other stuff, that just kind of happened to it, so that kind of sucks, but well. <laughs> I might have to change that I do stuff. Oh man, this thing in my throat. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I uh, just change how I do stuff a slight bit as to a uh, be sure. Yeah, but that double something is fine. As least do stuff earlier so I can at least happily not be the old copyright blocked <laughs> as much. Or at least so that when somebody loses, I don't have to wait as long. Well, to be more accurate, have more time to wait before I want to upload something. <laughs> Anyway, three Pokemon this time. Sand Dial, that's perfectly fine. Cute little guy. Something I would not mind if you ever encounter that, to be on the team. Perfectly one of its evolutions, specifically. But there you go. Intimidate Moxate, or not, not Moxate, Moxie are pretty good abilities. I see Wind, that should KO. That is true. <laughs> oh, that's not too bad. Armaldo, that sh also weak to ice, so I think four times even. No, I think maybe just normal. It's like, I, I don't think, oh. No wait, I think bug resists ice for some weird reason that I don't know the answer to, but I think we should still be fine to just icy one again. Like, I don't see too much issue at the moment. <laughs> and its speed is getting lower. That doesn't matter as we're a special attacker. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Gotta just try stuff. This should KO it! There we go. That wasn't that bad. Glaceon. This we'll probably want to swap out for. I mean, we should be fine against it, but eh, I'll just we'll stay in. Eh, we'll go for Upwork. Yeah, ice set is. Ooh, I just realized we're not the best against ice types in general sense. Ice is when that shouldn't really do anything. I was correct. We'll probably go last now, but that doesn't matter as much. We avoided whatever it shot at, because I was next to the text. One more uproar should do the trick. Probably it's on the right one. <laughs> and let's see... What happens next? And it should be gone. I was correct. How about someone else in front now? Because I want to try to keep the levels a, uh, pretty even amongst the party as well. Something I like doing personally on playthroughs as well. Like I let some Pokemon like be a bit ahead, but you know, a lot of time I just like to keep it even. Helps the rest of the team be consistent. Uh, we have two of these left. Uh, there we go. I mean, I'll still put someone else in front, but I feel like one potion just to be safe if we ever need to swap into Double Sunday for whatever reason. Uh, how about Jade Fuji? Put Fuji up front first. Might as well. Fuji the Jetplane is a really good special attack, so I feel like it should be fine. I mean, Fuji's probably more... I mean, I guess because of Dragon Breath. Well, being more reliable at this point, it should be... But whatever, it's fine. Alright, so what does this guy have? Because the last couple teams are pretty pretty decent. Especially the first guy, or back to see Pokemon. Golduck. We should be fine. <laughs> Really, this thing is not a psychic type, and even at least I'm pretty sure it's not a psychic type. Let's test that theory. Hold on, I am like 90% sure it's not. Okay, I was correct. But a uh, especially because like this first evolution, Psyduck, it, like has like psychic in the name, and like its whole deal, like and it's like that kind of thing. It's like, oh, it gets a uh, it gets a psychic move even. But for its pre-evolution, is that that's not good. Well, use one fury kind of see how that goes, but uh, is that oh, it gets psychic headache? Man, I, mess. <laughs> mm, I, I guess I'll swap out just to be safe. Uh, Ghidorah should be fine, but uh, it's like it gets psychic headaches that can like level like a lot of areas <laughs> as well, like especially if you've seen like a 
not Let's Go Pikachu, or a uh, Detective Pikachu, like that movie. Good movie. A, uh, like, with the Psyduck in that movie, like, a, uh, getting rid of all the Greninja, because it got a headache. Like, it is always weirding me out that that is not a Psychic type, yet its whole deal is that it is linked with Psychic type moves, so. I don't know what's up with that when designers were cooking, but, no, I mean. Just a weird little thing with Pokemon, since there are definitely other Pokemon that could also fit a bunch of other stuff as well. We'll stay in for this and just go for Dragon Breath again. As I can't really imagine Survivor having a fighting run. Well, Ice Fang it could have, I guess to be fair, through TM, maybe. <laughs> but I think in a general sense we should be fine against a, a Survivor with the Ghidorah. Oh, this one again. Take the... Oh, we're already here. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess with that being said, let's go you to my large stack of lemonades that I got from grinding a, uh, a Pokemon theater. And I guess also to top everybody off, I'll give an orange berry to Ghidorah. Wait, hold on. Is everybody topped off? It's all every HP counts. You never know. <laughs> now, do I open with Fuji? I mean, Fuji's always, I think, a reliable answer to most stuff. Alright, let's start this thing. Good work back there in the source. My Bug-type Pokémon have always been scaring with excitement about getting to battle you. I'd say my Bug-type Pokémon are pretty great! Come on, let's brag let me brag about it. Eh, holy crap, my tongue got twisted. Double's round little eyes are so cute, it's resilient and reliable. My is Levani, it's really the best. I think it's so sweet how it makes clothes for the Pokémon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokémon. Well now, let's get right to it! I'm sure you'll have those Pokemon you just mentioned. <laughs> there is no way you won't have those two. Alright, let's begin this thing against Gym Leader Bird. Dragon- <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, 23 Dragon Knight. Alright. I mean, uh, Fuji, Fuji should be fine uh, opening against this. We'll open with Tail Whip, lower its defenses. I don't think it would- I don't- Oh, Thunder Wave. That's not great. Okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know this. What this thing is with slam? How much does that do? Pretty sizable. There, one tail whip. Oh, uh, we're gonna now hope that it has a uh, multi scale, and that's why we only did a third. No, it does not. Okay, we have to swap then. All right. Yeah, this thing. That did too much of slam for me to be comfortable. If it's going for slam, I don't want to send any magma in case it gets paralyzed. Uh, JJ might be good. I'm thinking of Flowey. All right, JJ on the premise that it's being slammed should take one hit and then out speed and then Dragon Breath it. Let's see. Hyper. Po okay. That's not great, but. I mean, we should outspeed, okay, and we should have higher, well, I mean, it's it does a physical attack, so, okay, that's good. And we got the para! Okay, cool, we took it out, we took it out, we took it out. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty lucky, thank you, JJ. <laughs> there we go, we took down Dragonite, okay. That was kind of scary! <laughs> I shall not lie, okay, okay. Fuji also got level 24, that's good. Leave. Leafy on. Okay, that's not too far off Levani. Uh, I guess we'll just hang in with uh, JJ. That's fine. Let's be dragon breathing. Yeah, this should also then take it out. Oh, is this not his ace? Okay. Yeah, he's also level 23, so that was too bad. Nearly level up. Nope. <laughs> Noobal, huh? <laughs> level 25 Noobal. I see, okay. Let's see, does a Dragon Breath one-shot it? No! Okay. Citrus Berry, Amnesia. Uh-huh, okay, alright. Increased Special Defense, well, now it probably won't kill, but whatever. <laughs> I, I will say, like, Le Leafeon's like a pretty decent Pokémon, like all things considered, but like, going from but, like, so, like, that's a Dragonite. Like, Dragonite to that. <laughs> kind of scary, but then do a new one. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Good job, JJ. <laughs> Good 
check into the jet plane with the in-game speed. Oh, protect! Uh, that's a really good move to have in general, and honestly, that's better than side wave, so I'll take that. Like, that can let us scout stuff out too, so... Alright! We beat- we beat Berg! Ho oh, hoo! You are very strong indeed! I guess it's a surprise I lost. Here, take this insect badge. I think it'll suit you. And with that, we got a third gym badge. Nice! Fluffy like a jump left. Drink a Pepsi. Oh, the insect badge suits you even better than I would have than it would. If you had three badges, Pokemon Level 40 will obey you! Including traded Pokemon. And uh, you know what? I'll just give you this. Struggle Bug! Uh, thanks, pal! Uh, that's a pretty decent TM. And we can just go through the rest of that. Alrighty! Uh, I feel like this is probably a very good place to just end, considering, well, we, we beat the most clementing thing we can do right now. And I guess next time on this little adventure of ours, we'll go deeper into the desert, and we'll see what that has to offer. Maybe we'll find another gym leader? Who knows? It's hard to say. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and do have a good one. Peace.